Failure is impossible. These words were spoken by Susan B. Anthony, born 1820, died 1906, known for her immovable stance on women's rights in the U.S. Though she faced constant criticism and later an arrest, trial, and guilty verdict for voting illegally, Anthony vowed to never give up the fight to gain women the right to vote, believing her cause was just. Though she didn't live to see the fruit of her labor, her declaration proved true. In 1920, the 19th Amendment to the Constitution gave women the right to vote. Failure wasn't an option for Nehemiah either, mainly because he had a powerful helper, God. After asking him to bless his cause, rebuilding the Wall of Jerusalem, Nehemiah and those who had returned to Jerusalem from exile in Babylon worked to make that happen. The wall was needed to keep the people safe from enemies, but opposition to the cause came in the form of deception and threats. Nehemiah refused to let opposition deter him. He informed those who opposed the work. I am carrying on a great project. Nehemiah 6 verse 3 After that he prayed. Now strengthen my hands. Verse 9 Thanks to perseverance, the work was completed. Verse 15 God gave Nehemiah the strength to persevere in the face of opposition. Is there a task for which you are tempted to give up? Ask God to provide whatever you need to keep going. How do you normally handle opposition? What cause are you willing to fight for, no matter how tough the opposition? Precious God, I need your help to keep going with the work you've given me to do, no matter what the cost may be.